Hi everyone, thanks for coming back to my channel. My name is Christina and I am back with another journal flip through. Um, this is a very large journal that I made for a friend of mine. It has taken quite some time, a lot of delays, a lot of uh, mojo, a lot of struggles, but I am finally done with it. Um, this guy, as you can see, is nine inches by 12 inches. Um, this was an, a book about Paris. I pulled the pages out. Um, for various reasons, I just wanted this to be a really large um, journal in order to fit certain certain papers into it. Um, as you can see, the cover is um, this is a a little sort of slow slow stitched um, layered up piece that actually was one of the things that took me the longest. I struggle with covers. I don't know about the rest of you, but um, it's got a lot of um, embroidery floss stitching for texture. Um, we've got some little beads that I added on. This is a little lace flower that I made, a little fun button. Um, this is actually a, a piece of very thin, like balsa wood that I found at Joann's and I uh, layered it up with some paper, washi stickers, um, a little word, and, you know, a little fringe, more stitching, you know, lots of, I wanted it to be very textural, very sort of, it, it to invite touching. Um, I've also got a little fringe here on the side with some eyelash trim. Um, this is wool from Iceland, wool yarn from Iceland. Uh, it is removable if necessary. I, I like, I like my journals to be as customizable as possible so that the user can use them in whatever way seems best. Um, so let's get into this. I've got some book orders on here too. All right. Um, I kept the... Um, the inside papers, which is a map of Paris in these beautiful colors. So I didn't want to cover those up too much. Um, instead, I have this little um, card that I added, which flips out, as you can see. And I put a few pockets in, but I made them out of um, tracing paper so that you could still see through. Um, and these are just a couple little cards for fun. So I made a lot of um, sort of postcards for this um, because I've got sort of a, a travel um, a travel music bird theme, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. Um, this is just a picture that I glued to a postcard printout and then aged it up to make it look like an old postcard. I think it, it came out pretty well. Um, and I, I printed out a bunch of other little postcard images and just stuck them in here. Mm, this is just an Art Nouveau thing um, with a kitty cat paper clip, some eyelash trim on there, um, some nice uh, torn fabric ribbon ruching business going on here and a little, a little bird. Again, she likes birds, so I, I went with the bird theme. Um, this is a fabric pocket with some more slow stitching and a little button. This is a little folder. Um, just for her to put, you know, souvenirs and memorabilia, um, a little blue jay feather from my yard, more birds, more music, um, you know, just a little, little, little places to store things. Um, my idea was that perhaps she might like to put some stuff from her travels in here. Um, so we've got some floral pages with some nice out, sort of lace trim punch thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, some old book pages. I did make some faux uh, vintage tape to cover up any little tears that it had. I thought that came out well. And some stenciling on coffee dye. This is largely why I wanted it to be a large book because I wanted to print out actual um, music paper, composition paper, and I wanted it to be large and usable if she wanted to write music in here or to use it as just for journaling space or what have you. Uh, there's some little bird stencil. Um, this is a from a book teaching Swahili. Um, some old ledger paper, more vintage, faux vintage tape. And some flower um, botanical pages. Here's a little vintage sparkly thing. This is vintage lace sewn on here. Uh, here's some German book page. This is um, uh, embroidery from like a, a Balkan 
um, Eastern European embroidery. Uh, this is a this is an alluvial, like a floodplain map of the Mississippi, which is I think beautiful, and I just thought it would be a really cool design element to put in here. Um, it's been coffee dyed as well as um, some Tim Holtz distress ink. Um, this is stenciled with a few different colors just for fun. Um, just a little, just a little bit, a little bit of ephemera in here, coffee dyed. Things that she could write on or take out if she wants to. Um, that's up to her. Uh, here's another floral page from a really beautiful book that I have. Um, I just think that it looks amazing with these colors. Uh, this is vintage music paper, um, vintage sheet music from the 1910s. And some more birds. This is Latin. I, I included a lot of language uh, book pages just because I thought that suited the theme. Um, some more stenciling. Latin, birds, music. I love this book. I think it's called um, Diary of a Rose Lover, and it uh, it has beautiful images in it, all these beautiful watercolors of landscapes and roses. Um, I sewed two pages together, and I left this as one really big pocket that she could put something in. Um, obviously, the other side is a map. More music page. Um, more embroidery. Here is a nice, pretty velvet ribbon sewn on actually glued on. Um, more ledger, Swahili, music page, French textbook, um, more flowers, and then this last page um, I sewed to the other side of the front page, which ends right here. I just sewed a couple of pieces of paper onto this and then turned it into little pockets. So I've got pockets for these little journaling cards which are plain on the back. Another one. Um, this is made with um, masterboard collage as well as some napkins and labels and things and some homemade whale tail tabs. <laughs> I don't have a whale tail punch. I can't afford it. Um, and that's the end of the signature with some ribbon to cover up the join. Uh, here's the next one. Um, more little sort of faux postcards with vintage images. Um, pretty. This one is from a book, a picture from a book that I cut out. A little, a little bag with a map. It seemed to fit the theme. Um, a, just a little ribbon on there and another bird, a little bird dangle with more fabric sewn on. Um, here's another little, um, this is a uh, onion dyed piece of lace and I used red onion so it has that pinkish tone to it with another folder just an envelope and a little card inside again she can leave these in replace them with something else use those in some other fashion up to her um, more flowers swahili here's another page that I've sewn to make pockets uh, this is just some sheet music uh, it turns out that ruby is her name so I thought this would be fun to include. It's got some other songs on here too, but really it's there for the Ruby. Um, and again, this is more sort of travel images on the back. Little bird stencil, more embroidery, floodplain. You can see I followed the same template for each signature. Um, this is more vintage lace sewn on here. This was um, coffee dyed with a doily on it, as you can see, just barely. And some more stenciling. It's more of this beautiful book page. Just gorgeous images. A um, little butterfly stencil. Um, this was coffee dyed with a placemat. And then in the center, we have a little bit of Edith Holden book page. Um, her birthday is in March, just like mine, and um, she loves birds, so I wanted to include this little page in here for her. And I did put in a ribbon bookmark. And of course, more of the same on the other side. Uh, more roses, beautiful landscape. Roses, she likes roses too, in case you can't tell. 
Um, some shiny sparkles. More embroidery. And these are just paper clipped on with tiny paper clips so she can take them out if she wants to. They just have um, some lines stamped on the back so she could use them for journaling. It's up to her. Uh, another bird. More of a pocket. This is just um, a coffee dyed piece of paper that she could write on or use in some way. Some pretty flowers on it. More floral book pages. And then here's the last page with the pockets and two more journaling cards. More of that um, Balkan embroidery. I love this paper too with the birds. It's beautiful and perfect for her. Um, here's a little sort of faux postcard that I made from the Tim Holtz um, sort of vellum travel photos over another piece of scrapbook paper with flowers on it and I just made it into a little pocket. So I thought that was fun with a little heart and this is some vintage um, beautiful vibrant ribbon that I thought might be a nice little added touch on there. And a few more faux postcards as well as a rose postcard. Um, another bird in another pocket with a uh, lace flower that I made and a little little button in the middle. And some more faux postcards inside. French paper, music paper, stenciling. I thought this was a nice little thing to include. This is actually from a ledger book um, that was, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what this language is, but it was a ledger kept um, by someone. And I think this is some language, some alphabet from the Indian subcontinent, but I'm not exactly sure. I don't know enough to say, uh, but I thought it was really cool um, and it's beautiful. So a little, little butterfly on there, more vintage lace and a little, little sparkly dangle. Mississippi River, there's more of that doily. You can see just very grungy, this one. Um, another big pocket that's like a full page pocket that she can put something in with more travel images. And there's that, which is beautiful. This is from 1906. <laughs> Birds, Latin, more stenciling. I love this right here in the middle. I loved how these colors went together so perfectly. Yeah. A little more music paper tucked in here. Few different songs. <laughs> this is from an, a vintage book from the 60s that was just a bunch of um, standard songs for musicians to play. More matte paper. More of that beautiful embroidery. A little ribbon on the edge. Another butterfly. Another bird. More French book page, more flowers, and of course, the last two journaling cards. This is some old um, 19, late 1940s um, map from Trieste, Italy, which I found in a bookstore randomly. And then in the back, Again, I have a little pocket here, but I kept it see-through so that you can actually see the map that's underneath here and just put a few little washi stickers on it for decoration. And here's a little journaling card with more music page on the back. So, um, this I made this with a floating spine. I definitely, now that I've made one, 
I definitely prefer that over something that's bound into the book um, on the spine directly. It definitely opens much better, lays flatter. I feel like it's going to be easier for the recipient to use for writing in or gluing in, whatever. Um, so I'm definitely going to start doing that more often. As you can see, I used a, um, a piece of map fabric over a piece of Tyvek. Um, and I just glued it in on the edges and not on the spine. And it worked out really well. So that is the book. As you can see, not too, not too fluffy on the outside, um, but definitely has some nice touches of color. And hopefully she will enjoy it. And hopefully you enjoyed it too. Uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.